So ATM use is declining as the United States kind of moves towards a cashless society. And the Wall Street Journal reports they've peaked in 2019 with 470,000 machines. Then the pandemic set off a surge in digital payments and the number began falling. So the paper cities, um, kind of the paper sites, a Euro monitor rather, their projection that cash and check payments will fall to 14% soon. So in 2010, they comprised about 42% of transactions and some Americans still rely on cash and the trend could make it more and more challenging to get cash. So I really wanted to talk to each of you, of course, Sheldon and I mm -hmm. uh, talking, Shelly here with us from the Ronald McDonald House, Alyssa, our early show and second cup reporter. And I, I use cash when I have it, when I, but I don't find myself doing a special trip at the grocery store when it says cash back. I do that a lot. But yeah. sometimes there's no cash in there to get. Mm. I keep pushing it and I'm like, where? But used to, I would go to the ATM a lot. Yes. But that cash back whenever you shop is good for me. That's what I use most of the time, that button, because I've never, like I told you, I've never used an ATM before here. What? I just never needed what? to. I don't even know what they really look like here. I don't what? know where they are. I don't. Okay, so I'm I'm 23, uh -huh. and so I oh. guess it's that younger generational thing. I don't know, Sheldon, if you get the. Do you I mean, use ATMs? I use ATMs. I mean, not <gasps> on a regular basis, <laughs> but I, you know, I bank locally, of course, and so like every once in a while, if I'm going and I'm depositing checks and stuff like that, and I also I still use checks to pay bills and stuff like that a lot of the times. But like sometimes when I'm at the bank, like most of the time when I use an ATM, it's at the bank itself. Like I'm oh. there, I deposit checks, and then on my way out, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get a little bit of cash get a little bit of cash out of the ATM because I think a little known fact that not a lot of people know is most times when you get cash back at a store, you get charged for that. You're not uh, just getting... Wait, really? Yes, usually okay, there's a little percentage. That was something that's I did what, not know. That's, I mean, not all the time, but there's a lot of times when they ask for that cash back, oh. you're, you're paying to get your own money. Just putting that out there. Hey, we did not. So, I didn't okay, really I I realize that. that. So ATMs, that you're getting. If you want twenty dollars out, you're getting twenty dollars. You're not paying anything for it. Not twenty one fifty. If it's a, if it's an ATM in network, of course. If it's an out of network ATM, it'll could be you. twenty. Sometimes they do charge. Yes. Um, so do you do you get cash? I don't know if I'm old school or if I'm <laughs> ahead of the curve. I've never had an ATM card. Never. Oh, I've never carried There you one. go. Oh. We're on the same I team. Use, I use my credit card. I love to get Southwest Airline points. Um, I use my credit card for everything. And I used to used to be like, oh, it's under $5. Don't use your credit card. Right. It, I mean, doesn't make any difference to me. It makes a difference to the merchant. It's a big, they, you know, the merchant is paying a merchant Charge fee. Them. I'm sure them. Yeah, okay. the merchants don't love that. At Ronald McDonald House, if you make a cash donation or you write a check to me, Great, I don't pay a fee. If you make a donation with your credit card, I have to pay a fee oh. for that. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But mm -hmm. you know what, back in the day, Shelly, we did have ATM cards, mm -hmm. and, and it was it, we didn't have the debit cards. Right. right. So you're exactly right. I cannot. I, I didn't even take it. That okay. Alyssa doesn't even know. What do you? What do you mean? You said ATM card, and I was like, I have no clue what that is. I have a debit card. I don't even have a credit card. I just have my debit card and like the cash that they keep with me sometimes, and that's it. So I don't even know what an ATM card is. But I feel like for myself, like sometimes, like in certain places, like I'll try to pay cash sometimes if it's like if I've got like if I can make exact change or something, or if it's like a little like. But the thing is, is like, I mean, I can pay at some places with my watch. That's Whoa. the easiest thing right there. You know, Apple Pay, Android yeah. Pay, stuff like that. Yes. And, like I said, I could go into rants about this too, but we do now know that payments with this is more secure than your card. So other fun See, I do it with you. my phone. Yeah. It's the same as your, as your Apple Watch. Because every time you do that, what's happening there is when you pay with that, that's, I think that's a good argument for like the cashless side of things as opposed to like using cash. Because like, you know, you always hear about credit card skimmers and stuff like that where you swipe your card and they get right. your number, they get your information they're gonna get into your bank account, but when you use your phone, your watch, whatever, it assigns a new number to every single transaction. So ultimately it doesn't trace back to anything. Um, Shelly was telling us earlier, she went over the weekend to an event and it was cash only. And thank goodness you keep quarters in your car. <laughs> I went out to my car. I had my granddaughter and a little friend with me. <laughs> and I was like, we gotta go back to the car. And I had $3 bills and I pulled out stacks of quarters. I had enough. <laughs> quarters and 10 dimes and I went back in I was like here's my four dollars with dimes so and funny quarters. no yeah I've cash only 
I know. Wow. I know. I'm with you, and I, I have a little bit of quarters. And so they didn't have an ATM machine. You would think if you were saying to people <laughs> cash only, there would be an ATM machine right there. No machine. No machine. Well, the, the bank that I use, I will say this, I've noticed that their ATMs are not in places that they used to be. And I wondered, and now that we do this story, that kind of makes sense. It's a different, it's a different time. So. But it's just so much easier. I mean, like, sometimes here, you know, we'll make a coffee run and say, okay, you owe me $5, you owe me $6 for then a cup no. of coffee. Yeah, exactly. You know, used to, you're like, well, okay, let me go get some cash out of my car. I pay for it now. I can just pull my phone out and pay Alyssa for my cup of coffee. Exactly. Easy as that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I really do love that convenience. That is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Never has seen an ATM machine. Never. You've seen one. Oh, I used one in Germany. But what? That was. I know it's <laughs> random. It's random. I used one in Germany just <laughs> randomly because I needed some cash. And besides that, in America, never seen an ATM. Never used an ATM. I mean, I was. But that's things for me. Like I was. I'm, I'm still team cash to an extent because, like you know, I always think like when I was younger and stuff, like you know, getting paid in cash felt a lot cooler than getting paid in a check. For sure. sure. It's just one of those things. I mean, sometimes if you, you, know, you lose your card or something happens to it, things like that, you lose your card, you lose your money. If you still got some cash on you, you can still make things happen. Sure. Paying for odd jobs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Easy way to do things. Well, and like traveling, I remember the last time I traveled, I didn't have cash. I wanted to check my luggage at the curb at the airport. I didn't have cash to tip oh. the porter. And I, I like to leave a little cash in the room when the, for the hotel housekeeping. Mm -hmm. Didn't, I didn't have cash. You're a good lady. That is a good lady. Yep. Good, Shelly, that's pretty awesome. Well, but I, uh, I learned, need to remember I learned, to have cash. <laughs> learned, <laughs> learned a little lesson now. Well, thank you for being in the conversation, thank Shelly. Thank you for inviting and, uh, me. And Alyssa, nice sure. You. Sure, we want to know what you think. Check us out at our Second Cup uh, Facebook page. If you're not a member, please join. We want to talk about it. And 